Hi, I'm Glenn from The Walking. Hi, I'm Sung Kang. Um, <laughs> I'm Ono's Datu. Um, back with another video. This time it's my build breakdown video of the of my 2017 Subaru BRZ. I think I just broke my chair. But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll. That was shot a while back. But yeah. Um, out of my group of friends, a Subaru enthusiast, aka Subi gang, boys, whatever you want to call it. Vape sick nation. I don't, I don't vape. I don't even drink Monster. I drink Gatorade. It's not even my favorite flavor. I prefer lime, lemon. Cucumber is the worst flavor for Gatorade. And when they came out with that, I was very disappointed because I thought I was lemon lime. Oh man. But yeah, no, all my, all my boys, all my friends, they all got WRXs. Bryson has that amazing, I think it's like a lapis blue. I think that's what the color is called. Micah has that gray one. Chester just got his black one. And one of my good friends, Paulo, who now lives in Seattle, has a um, silver one, I believe. That's what it is. I think that, I mean the color. I think that's what the color is. But yeah, um, honestly, not that much has been done to this car. At least in comparison to like all those other YouTube builds for like BRZs and FRSs, like those are like well up, done, well done, well done up, done up. Um, I was always attracted to uh, rural drive sports cars. I was always attracted to the color gray. Um, yeah. Cause you know, I have very good luck with gray sports cars that are real wheel drive. Rest in peace to my 300 ZX and I used to have, I, st I still have my RX-8 that I do not wish to build or touch or fix. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. But yeah, no, um, but yeah, this is the build breakdown video. Um, in the video, I think when I was um, recording the video, I was recently, previously on my Mission Sports tires. Now I'm on Nitto NT55 G2s, um, 23540, uh, wrapped around my, one of my favorite wheels that's affordable, uh, raised gram lights, 57CR, 18 by 9.5 plus 38 offset. I like to call them the poor man Advan GTs or the poor man TE 37s, you know, but they're good. They're good. Good looking wheels. Um, affordable, great bang for your buck. And it's, it's nice. They have a variety of colors. I have them in a the gloss black. The only thing is you have to buy center caps separately and man, you have to buy each center cap separately. So think about that. But yeah. Um, this is, the car is lowered on BC coilovers. I have the base model ones. I think it's the BRs. Could be wrong. Um, in the rear, I do have the Stance version one lower control arms. As I'm really interrupted by my phone beeping. I let, the suspension setup is all I really need. Honestly, um, we don't really have a tracking hoy. If I did, I would have a more serious suspension setup. Honestly, I, I think I would think. But yeah, no, like the BC coilovers and the stance lower control arms, they really just do it for the car for street driving. But yeah, um, yeah, we don't have, really have a track. So for the spirited street driving that I do, like the BC coilovers and the stance control arms do the job. I got stance control arms help with the camera adjustment for the rear, just so it's all nice the way I like it. Um, I think this is how I'm gonna keep my fitment, honestly, and suspension setup. 
I might switch out the BCs, try something new, or just might rebuild them. The, the backs are starting to go. But yeah. Um, cosmetic wise, I have a front lip from Max and Design, side skirts from Max and Design as well. Um, I, what I really do like are the um, the rear end of the car. I do have the um, it's the Shine Auto Shine Auto version of um, the Ari Armia Vortex Generator add-ons in the rear, and I have the FT86 Speed slash Virus um, non-aggressive diffuser. I felt like the aggressive diffuser would be a little bit much with the Vertex Generator add-ons. My whole inspiration for that was like the whole like late 90s, early 2000s JDM diffusers, like Top Secret's diffuser, and R obviously Ari Amamiya's diffuser set up for the RX-7 and the Supra, GTR, uh, whatever top speed made, and Ari Amamiya respectively before the RX-7, right? But yeah, no, like heavily influenced by that kind of, that, that kind of look from back in the day. I do have um, side window visors from HIC and the rear, windshield visor from HSC as well. I got some generic um, eBay mirror visors. They do actually work, trust me, they, they do work. They're functional, it works, trust me. But yeah, that's basically it. Oh, sorry, almost forgot. I do have the Jambini spoiler visor. Um, I always thought that, that the uh, 86 BRZ, the twins, the 2017 and up facelift models had like a weird looking spoiler because it's so low to the trunk and i feel like that spoiler riser just gives it like that little like two three inches that it gives it makes a whole world of difference and it looks actually very aggressive and i think it flows really nice with the car and it does it's not too much i might change it up later on get like a aftermarket spoiler probably not a gt spoiler just because i think that'll be way too much for the look i'm going for the car but i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below but yeah that's basically about it if you want to count the license plate um relocator kit so i didn't have i don't want to drill into the front grill but that's it for cosmetic wise really um under the hood hks turbo kit obviously uh because i've mentioned it so many times already <laughs> but at this point but no i'm running the hks turbo kit uh Yeah, I'm running the HKS Turbo Kit. I've always liked HKS, um, especially from when I started getting into cars. Like, Fast and Furious got me. Fast and Furious obviously got me into cars. I started watching Initial D, started playing One Game Midnight, started playing Initial D at like the local arcades, right? Um, started watching a lot of um, JDM Insider, Best Motoring. Oh, not Best Motoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best Motoring. Hot Version. Uh, reading Super Street, Import Tuner, D Sport, oh, frick. all the names escape, but like all those old school stuff like the magazines, the videos. Um, I'm from the YouTube age where YouTube started first coming up, so that's where I got all my stuff. Like, I never had money to buy the actual DVDs, but yeah, no, like I'd always see like Taniguchi rocking HKS, HKS in parts in all these JDM cars from like. The mid late 90s early 2000s you'd see hks here hks here. i mean just, of course there's other parts there but i always gravitated more to the hks i don't know it just just put me it's, it got hold of me um connected to that is a full hks exhaust hks dual resonated front pipe to the hks cat back um i really want to go more hks stuff but like everything's just really really pricey but those are the things that i got that's hks for this car if you want to count the oil cap, the oil filter, I mean, things you don't really need, but I just wanted to, to get those little, little little bits and pieces, right? You know, small details make a difference. Uh, supporting mods, I am running the Mishimoto oil cooler, uh, Mishimoto oil catch can, which by the way, was the easiest install I've ever done. Oh my God, it was like 20 minutes. Like when they say in the video, it's 20 minutes, it was 20 minutes. Like, yeah. I was honestly with that. Oh, there's a video. I did a video. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll post a card on here somewhere. Yeah, no, you don't really need to watch my video, but it's there. I, I don't know how this YouTube thing works. But you know, I have Dashworks 700cc injectors and the De Dashworks. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly, honestly. 
the DW 300 fuel pump. Uh, the, the fuel pump, I've had a lot of complications in installing just because I really dislike how the fuel pump canister is set up for these cars, for the twins. Like, it, like we got fed up to the part. Like, I hated using the, the screwdriver and hammer technique to close it, open it, and close it. So, we just bought a tool. Honestly, the tool was like 50 bucks free shipping, and it was like the be best thing easier. Like, two, three minutes in, out, no problems whatsoever. Because <clears throat> I had few issues, right? Because of that, because it was leaking, it wasn't closed all the way. And it was like an HVAC leak or something, was a code it was throwing. <clears throat> so yeah after that like no issues whatsoever and car has run completely fine after that yeah, i made it to this car so it runs i have it tuned by delicious tuning speaking of delicious tuning i also forgot that i do have um the Del delicious tune four bar sensor but yeah tuned by delicious shout outs to bill and Navar, I, I don't know if that's his, Nazar, Nazar sorry, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but they have helped me so much. Um, they're really good at answering all my emails, at least for me. They've answered all my emails, all my questions, helped me out a lot with this tune, helped me make it work. And I'm not sponsored by them at all, but I can't say enough nice things about them. And the car runs and the car performs more than I actually expected it to. And I'm really happy with how the tune came out. There's a backfire tune that I don't really use too often, but you know, I'm more of a subtle guy, kinda. Subtlety here and there is how I like to be, kinda, if that makes sense. I mean, I think the car is subtle. Like, it's not heavily modified. I don't think it's heavily modified, but yeah. Um, yeah, tune with delicious tuning. Uh, for the three gauges I do have by, I think the brand is Reveal or Revel, Revel. The Reveal S models. Um, I think it's honestly by Tanabe. Uh, I'm running AFR boost and oil pressure. I do want to run a coolant temp one, but I'm using my phone because uh, with the delicious student, I do have the app and the, um, the OBD2 reader. So I can read um, oil pressure, sorry, oil pressure, oil temp and coolant temp on my phone. So that those I don't have actual analog or digital gauges yet, but those three gauges run perfectly fine. Um, they're mounted with the ATI, ATI gauge pod. The, um, sorry, throat. ATI gauge pod. Um, with that, I have a. We are likewise weighted shift now. I think it's like 500 grams. Uh, no, no short throw shifter. Honestly, I should have, but you know, I, I like the long throws. It, it makes it feel more engaging, but the short throws do feel great as well. So I might change my mind in the next couple months or so. I'm going to do a video. I've already taken apart that center console several times. It's honestly not that hard. We've lost things in that center console several times if you didn't see the last video. Shout out to Bryson. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, other than that, I have a steering wheel. By, it's a collab from Toge Dreamers and Valenti. It's made it to the energy quick release hub and steering wheel adapter. Um, that's really it for the interior. There's not much going on. I do want to get a driver's side seat, either a bridge seat, yes, bridge, or status seat. I just haven't really decided. I haven't really decided which one I want. And just for the driver's side, because I didn't want to have to deal with the passenger pressure sensor under the seat. And that would just honestly just drive me hella crazy. I mean, you can get the seatbelt thing. I heard that works, but like I'd rather just not mess with it, to be honest. But other than that, we might not do much to the interior. Might do some custom, um, custom liners here and there for like maybe like the door cards. Like the little like armrest area or like the door handle area, like that little thing where you can rest your arm. I might just change those. Like, just do a little reupholstering, like something small and custom, custom it, customize it, customize it, customize it. But there are a bunch of things I do want to do to this car, and hope you guys stick around and find it and stick around and find out and join this journey. Yeah. yeah thanks for watching. Okay. If I'm still out here, that means I've, been, I've tried recording this like 10 times in a row.